Hello, welcome back to the channel. Right before I start, I just want to say that if you would like to support the channel, you can do so through buymeacoffee.com. There, you can make donations to the channel and you can also suggest stories as well. I'll be putting a link in the description below. So again, if you want to donate to the channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com. It was a moonless night as John drove his 18-wheeler down Highway 66. He was on a tight deadline to deliver goods to the next town over. As he rounded a bend, his headlights illuminated a figure in the distance, thumbing for a ride at the side of the road. John sighed, knowing he shouldn't pick up hitchhikers this late, but it was a cold night and he didn't have the heart to leave the poor soul stranded. He pulled it over and the figure scrambled into the passenger seat. In the darkness, John could make out that it was a young man, dishevelled but seemingly harmless. Thanks for the ride, friend, the man said in a gravely voice. You don't know how much this means to me. No problem, John replied. Where are you heading? The man gestured vaguely down the road. Just drop me off wherever you're stopping for the night. As they drove in silence, a foul stench began rafting through the cabin. John wrinkled his nose in disgust. No offense buddy, but you smell like something died. When's the last time you showered? The man let out a chilling laugh that seemed to echo from the depths of his body. Shower? Why? I haven't showered since the accident, split me open and spilled my guts all over this here highway. With horror, John realized that the awful smell permeating the cabin was the stench of rotten flesh and dried blood. He turned to look at his passenger and recoiled in terror. The hitchhiker's torso ended in a ragged, gaping wound where his internal organ should be was only a mass of congealed gore and exposed bone. The hitchhiker grinned, his teeth glowing eerily in the dark. Them other truckers didn't stop for me, but you was real nice. Now I got me some company for the long, cold night. The hitchhiker let out another hollow laugh as icy tendrils of fear gripped John's heart. He slammed it on the brakes, desperate to escape the nightmarish vision besides him. But it was too late. The hitchhiker of Highway 66 turned and pounced on him, howling with grim delight as he plunged his gnarled fingers into John's soft belly. The 18-wheeler veered off the road, crashing into the ditch. By morning, another mangled body was found in the wreckage and the ghostly hitchhiker waited once more by the side of Highway 66, thumbs outstretched, eager for another hapless victim to wander into his clutches.